Well, 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 what an unbelievable night of football that was tonight. Um, as I'm filming this, the results are just trickling in, so we're still live at Talker Park and we're still live at Weavers Park, so update on them in due course. But what an incredible, incredible evening in the greatest league in the world. It truly, truly is, because I don't know what is happening from game to game. It is so, so hard to predict these matches, but what an unbelievable night. For, for some of us and uh, what an outrageously bad night for others it is a real real crazy ride this season it's going to be that for the whole campaign I feel um, this league like if you're looking at this league table your bottom three as it stands St. Pat's Shamrock Rovers and Dundalk that's your bottom three and your top three is Shells Derry Waterford and Galway in fourth like this is nuts I know this is very very early days and no one can get ahead of themselves because things can change change like that but what an incredible start to the campaign so far we've had this season it's really been fantastic we will start looking through some of the games um, and we'll start off at uh, down in Waterford I think this is a, such a significant significant result Waterford have been really impressive since coming up they'll obviously be a little bit disappointed at the back of that loss to Galway on Friday night but to back it up to come back and win 3-1 uh, against St. Pat's at home is something else incredible poor Gammon on the score sheet with a brace as well so so positive it was a big question mark whether he'd find form um, at the stage of his career in the League of Ireland and he seems to be settling in really really well so that's huge for them that's their Pats it's a disaster it's an absolute disaster um, is John Daly under pressure is he under pressure I don't too early to say it's too early to say he obviously has a lot of credit in the bank from last season in the FBI Cup and stuff but they spent big they've won the best squads in the league they need to be delivering they need to be in this title race and they look a million miles away from it at the moment Pitalusia as well he looks like an absolute disaster of a signing so yeah St. Pat's are in a world a world of trouble um, let me know down in the comments below uh, St. Pat's fans if you're watching in, in the situation area how bad is it um, let me know down in the comments below next up we have Shamrock Rovers who plays host to Derry now this one was obviously going to be a huge huge game in terms of the title race two teams you kind of perceive to be the top two this season if not maybe Pats or whatever um, and Dara Burns up in the score sheet off the mark for the season great to see from him he's been uh, starting off the season quite brightly for Rovers he's been one of the brighter sparks I've found so uh, good for him to get off the mark then Patrick Hoban um, I didn't uh, see this game but uh, as far as I've heard he kind of used all his experience just to win this penalty um, for the equaliser and he, he dispatched it himself so yeah Patrick Hoban he, you know he's he, you know what you're going to get from him he's, he's been around the league he's experienced he scores goals and that was a massive one then um, Danny Mullen did put Derry City in the lead after 84 minutes and it kind of shell-shocked Jamal Covers from being 1-0 up after six after the arrow mark to go 2-1 down in quick succession is a disaster. Obviously, they haven't had a great start to the season themselves and it did feel for them because if they had that game on Friday night, I think they needed that game at home to draw that to kind of sharpen up a little bit more and Derry had a game so maybe were a little bit sharper. Obviously, you can maybe look at tired legs, etc. But so early in the season, you need to be kind of playing games so I think that did affect Rovers tonight but Marcus Poom in the 93rd minute an assist from Dara Burns the main man for Rogues at the moment it seems um, Marcus Poon with a massive massive equaliser there and that's that's a crucial crucial point because you can't let these teams like Derry kind of build too much momentum obviously Derry are second in the league um, so you can't let them build too much of a gap so um, it's still at six points but if it had been eight it's, it's significant at this stage of the season even so yeah a big big point for Shamrock Rovers uh, full time around the grounds as we speak uh, Dundalk <laughs> Dundalk nil Sligo Rovers 5 and oh my days Stephen O'Donnell is in big big trouble um, I think most of the credit left by 30-40 minutes um, Ellis Chapman put them in front after 7 minutes for Breeze Hartman after 14 2-0 Ellis Chapman again 3-0 Max Matta I think that might be his first goal of the season is it 4-0 uh, and he scored a second to make it 5 in second, after 62 um, yeah it seems so Dundalk with the, the first game against Rovers it seemed like really positive and 1-1 one, one draw you, you'll take that it's a great result we can really build on this kind of thing and then just since then it's been an absolute disaster um, they've lost to Galway at home 2-0 and now Sligo um, 5-0 desperate desperate times uh, Dundalk benched um, what was his name the Jamie Gullen fella and they benched uh, Ryan O'Kane as well which I thought was interesting obviously other than 
had them earmarked as maybe two of their better players so I thought that was quite interesting but Sligo was a fantastic result for them they'll be a little bit disappointed they might kind of themselves a little bit lucky not to have got at least a point against Shells on Friday night so they backed that game up with a huge huge win here that's a huge performance from them and any kind of early fears I think I had them like ninth or 10th my or like pre-season predictions that was before they signed Max Matter in my defence which was changed things um, but they look like a, a decent side this season obviously two draws and a win now uh, two draws a win and a loss uh, which is a solid start to the campaign for them they'll be happy enough with that um, yeah Sligo looking good Dundalk I think it could be it could, it could be the curtains for O'Donnell Dundalk fans if you are watching the video is that it like is is that it does he have to go like that 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 screams that result screams it's over it's finished the fans are gone but is he the problem is there bigger things going on like it's really really hard to uh, to pinpoint a, a certain thing that's going on at, wrong at Dundalk but the easy answer is always going to be the manager he has to go so yeah we'll see what happens in the coming days are Shelburne in the title race <laughs> are they in the title race a 1-0 win over Galway Galway a very very good side and uh, they've surprised me a little bit so far this season a couple of really really solid results so I did have them in the 7th in my league table predictions maybe they didn't not surprise me maybe they are, they're on course for a 7th place finish um, but yeah they've they looked really they've looked really solid so far and they've looked they, they have a really good squad of players a really good group and you feel like they're going to work hard for each other and they're going to be a difficult side for everyone to play against this season um, Shelburne did rotate the side a little bit by the looks of it Evan Caffrey came into the team uh, John Martin led the line up front in place of uh, Maddie Smith who was on the bench Sean Boyd of course is still out suspended I believe he is back this Friday I think that's three games he's done now um, so uh, John O'Sullivan was came out of the team as well for Caffrey so um, yeah for Shells it's a massive three points they're keeping clean sheets they're scoring enough goals to win games they're top of the league it's been a fantastic start to the season for Damien Dust, man. He's going to be absolutely thrilled. The Sligo win and then this win as well. Two kind of games that could be seen as kind of banana skins. Um, two big, big important wins to back up that Shamrock Rovers win as well. It shows it was just a one-off type thing and they died off after that. They're in this for the long haul, I think. Um, I think a top three finish is still the aim. I think it's it's realistic. They finished fourth last season. I don't think top three is, is out of the realms of possibility. I think that the squad is stronger. Um, Friday is going to be a challenge though Bowes will come on to them in a second I'll see their results tonight but Daily Mount Park for, for a Dublin derby with Shells is never ever an easy game and it's going to be a real real test of the cojones of the credentials of this Shelburne inside. if they can go to Daily Mount Park and win then you can start asking questions like are they in the title race I believe um, because if you can go there and win that's massive um, obviously it's really really early days still Damien Duff will probably not want to get too high probably won't want to get too low after a bad result so he's, I think he's got it managing expectations within the dressing room or within the fan base as well but he'll be thrilled to start to the season 10 points from 4 games that only drop points away to Waterford in the opening day which is now looking like an even better result because Waterford are flying so yeah Damien Duff will be delighted go away not to, to be too concerned about they're going to lose games they're going to get results along the road it's going to be the way the season goes and um, not to be too concerned about there um, and they can be happy with their start to the season I think and finally we have Drogheda um, United who beat Bohemians by two goals to one Bohemians obviously with no fans in the crowd supporting them on um, which probably would have made a big difference for them in fairness if they had that bit more um, bit of bit of vocal behind them and stuff it, it does make a difference that you, you feel um, but Drada did take the lead here at uh, just before half time Danny Grant I believe it was with an own goal header, headered in from a corner um, and then Evan Weir with another free kick this is a weird one um, probably goes down as poor defending but it's a really really good ball in from distance it's nearly at the halfway line whips it in he's a lovely left foot in them straight into the goal bounces into the top corner and um, yeah that that, that that was just about enough for draw to James Clark pulled one back uh, just after the arrow mark to give Bowes a chance at the game and, and to give them but some belief but it wasn't enough they, they couldn't pull back an equaliser and draw had out one out uh, winners for a big big win because they will have wanted that uh, being the last game of course being the 4-1 defeat wasn't it yeah the 4-1 defeat to Waterford at home which was a real real disaster for them and um, so to come back off the back of that have Shamrock Rovers that game probably being cancelled on Friday probably a good thing for draw to come into this game with a home game the next game being a home game again and um, was a perfect game I think no fans for Bowes home game weren't off the back of a, a potential beating against Rovers on Friday it was maybe it's a perfect storm for Drogheda so yeah great result for them they'll be thrilled and yeah this is funny looking at the table isn't it it's crazy Shell's top 
uh, Dundalk bottom Shamrock Rovers in that relegation playoff spot with pa uh, Pats just above them um, Derry City in second he'll be thrilled their start of the season and thrilled with the likes of Pats and, and Rovers struggling as well and it's a decent point for Derry they will be disappointed to concede it so late on but I think yeah, if you had it off to them a point before the game they would have taken it so yeah it's going to be a fascinating fascinating season we'll dive into these games a little bit deeper we'll, but I say we'll do something with Luke during the week having a look ahead at Friday night's games but if you did enjoy the video guys please make sure to drop a like and down below and please do subscribe it is much much appreciated um, and thank you so much for tuning in take it easy to shells